Time now for one of our premier events on the track, the men's 1500 meter final. See the athletes, 12 of them milling around on the track. This is a very important race for the University of Arkansas, Craig. Well, Dwight, Arkansas expects big points in this 1500 meters, and though they've been the dominant college team in middle and long distance running over the past few years, they got some unexpected points in the 10,000 meters earlier in the meet. And Dwight, the leader of this middle distance core for Arkansas is Niall Bruton. He won the last two NCAA titles indoors in the mile. But he'll have a, a tough go with his own teammate, Graham Hood from Canada. Hood beat him at the SEC Championships. Hood, a ninth place finisher at the 1992 Olympics for his country, Canada. So a lot of experience on that track. The world record in the event, Noradine Morsali of Algeria. Abdi Bile of George Mason holds the collegiate record, and the best time in the nation by a collegian is also in this race. Kevin Sullivan, the super freshman from Michigan, is also from Canada. I asked him what he thought about those world records of Morsali. He says he'll beat them one day. Here we go. Twelve competitors in the final. Here we go, gentlemen. In a championship race, you often see a tactical race. Who would that, that type of a race go to? I think that would favor the guys with the big kicks, and that would include the men we've seen, Sullivan, Bruton, and Hood, as we had a quick look at John McDonald, the Arkansas coach, with his assistant coach, Stanley Redwine, alongside. And out to the early lead in the yellow and green from Eastern Michigan, Paul McMullen, followed by the diminutive one, Steve Green of Iowa State. McMullen, a former football player, used to play tight end for Cadillac High School in Cadillac, Michigan. Said he was too small and too cold to stay with football, so he took up track. So right now it's McMullen leading him through with Steve Green in the yellow of Iowa State, right behind him. Also on the outside, 282 from Providence. That's Andy Keith. Keith finished Andy second Keith a year ago in the NCAA. He's a former third. indoor mile champion. He's run a 356 mile, which is the best of anyone in this field, although Hood has run 335 for 1,500 meters. It's a metric equivalent of a 352 mile. As they go out in 62 seconds, you talked about it, you predicted it. It is a tactical race, and there you see the Arkansas guys towards the back of the pack, Dwight. Bruton right there with the number one on his hip. But right in the back of the pack, Kevin Sullivan, the freshman, is that something that a freshman should be doing, not mixing it up in the pack? Well, Sullivan is a big guy, Dwight, a long stride. I think he's just trying to stay out of trouble in what he senses is a slow pace. He'll have to remain alert. But it's very important that the Arkansas guys get up towards the front. In the team battle, this is the event that could clinch it for them, Dwight, if the two Arkansas guys can be up in the front as they come down the home stretch. Well, they're real, really bunching up now with just a little over two laps to go. Bob Hamer now on the outside from Penn State moves into the lead with McMullen of Eastern Michigan in second. And McMullen now back into the lead, very tightly bunched. This is a dangerous situation when the real running starts to take place. The Arkansas guys still fifth and eighth out of a 12-man field. Not only that, you see Bruton's on the inside as the 800-meter split is 204. So it's been even at 62 second pace. And now McMullen's setting out for home. He's making a serious move here. You have to admire his maturity in trying to keep it from being simply a last lap or half lap sprint. But that's very hard running to do as Keith now goes into the lead. Keith is the kind of guy who can sustain a move over 600 meters. What we saw Marty LaCroix do to Jim Ryan way back in that dream mile in Philadelphia in 1971, Dwight. Niall Bruton and Graham Hood trying to position themselves for the final lap kick, but right now it's Andy Keith of Providence. Arkansas's Niall Bruton now moving into second. Graham Hood going with him will be in third at the bell. It's Andy Keith of Providence, followed by Bruton and Hood. Steve McMullen, Paul McMullen of Eastern Michigan still in fourth, and Eric Nadeau in fifth, making a bid. What a wild move that Bruton made. He sort of stuck his arm out and said, I'm making a right turn, and he stepped out into the lane. It's Hood that seems to have settled into a better rhythm and now is taking off in earnest after Keith. But keep your eye on Eric Nadeau from Northeastern who's moved into second now, a very strong 800 meter runner, Dwight. Now it's Hood of Arkansas and Nadeau with Britton now failing in third and Paul McMullen of Eastern Michigan in fourth as they turn for home. It's Graham Hood from Canada, the Olympian, the 1500 meter finalist from Barcelona. 
everything he has left. Eric Nadeau in pursuit, but he will not be able to catch him. It will be Graham Hood of Arkansas, Eric Nadeau second, Kevin Sullivan comes up for third for Michigan, and Niall Brutton in fifth for the Arkansas Razorbacks. That will probably come close to clinching it for Arkansas. Right, when you make a move in the 1500 meters, it has to be a definitive move. You usually don't get a second chance. Graham Hood did just that. I think he was spurred on by Eric Nadeau, who made a move more or less at the same time. Once they pulled away from the others, no one was going to catch them. With the knee injury last year, you missed all of 93. This has to be so gratifying for you. you this is uh, one of the most uh, important victories in my, uh, my life. I mean, I've been out for a year and a half, and I just wanted to come back and show everybody I could still run with the best of them. So Graham Hood of Arkansas winning the men's 1500 from Eric Nadeau of Northeastern and the freshman Sullivan of Michigan up for third.